We're looking at pictures and news articles uh, and stuff like that. Just trying to piece together um, a sort of narrative about the choir's history. The goal of this project, um, as it stands now, is to create a timeline for, for people to, to look at so they can see the massive depth of, of Nordic Choir's history. We've had some, some fun kind of discovering some things in the archives and um, coming upon old recordings, um, but really, you know, Bailey's taken the lead role in contacting alum, offering to ask for their experiences as former members of Nordic Choir, uh, to compile the, the um, timeline as, as it states, and um, also just to kind of find some interesting facts that we can even dive deeper into. The first tour that Nordic ever took uh, in 1947, um, just sort of reviews here. Uh, these were sort of crucial for helping us figure out like how, how that first tour went. The tour manager at the time you know, sent a letter to the to the president of Luther and just said he didn't think that this touring thing that we were going to we were going to be doing was sustainable. You know, I guess we're glad we had a president that made him do pulled it. rank, <laughs> <laughs> pulled rank. You know, right. yeah. The legacy that this choir has and the impact that it has on people here in Iowa, over in California, in Norway, in Russia. Uh, this choir is very historic and it is definitely one of the gems of the Midwest that maybe some people know a lot about and maybe some people have never heard of. The, the privilege to share its story uh, is one that I carry with, with great responsibility.